have an update to the Ja Morant story. It looks like um, photos emerge of Ja Morant getting a lap dance after blowing 50K at the strip club before posting uh, the gun-toting video. And uh, this image has gone you know, a little bit viral of him just sitting there uh, at the strip club looking down at This a, at strip a club is messy as hell. It's all money on the floor. This strip club is so messy. Why yeah. did y'all leak these images? Also, he, I, he got the strip club doing what everybody else is doing, and he done brought y'all a lot of money. That floor is covered. Exactly. So that's the one thing I saw in the comment section is people said that, like, you know, strip clubs, they're not... It's not the first time people have gone to a strip club that's not supposed to be there or wants yeah. to keep it private. And strip clubs are supposed to have this like sense of privacy with their customers. Mm -hmm. I've never even been to a strip club in my life, but you I know, it's you. like they're, they're supposed to have the sense of privacy with their customers, especially when you're blowing 50k in a night. It's yeah. like they're not really supposed to snitch on you, basically. You know, I believe there's some there's some clubs where you're not even supposed to have your phone out, right? Yeah, yeah, but what I want to know is why your man's had his shirt off in a strip club. Hey, I was. <laughs> I, I thought was, the girl was supposed to be topless. No, no, no. <laughs> I was tripping off of him having his shirt off, and he just looks so into it, but he having a good time. He enjoying nah. himself. If I and go he in has a, strip, a girlfriend, though. If I go in a strip club and there's some six-foot She foot probably plus, allow him to go to the strip club. If I go in a strip club and there's a six-foot-plus nigga in there and I see his nipples, I want my money back. <laughs> I want everything I threw right back in my pocket. No, nah, as a fact. You ain't pay to see no nigga nipples. <laughs> <laughs> but also, it's like... Um, you know, this the is cops a, may have, oh, sorry. No, you're good. The cops may, right? Because, like, the cops like, may have been the one like to leak it, right? Because the cops didn't, oh, investigation, mm, yeah, 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 right? And they probably like drew, you know, and all those footage from like, them, yeah, right? yeah, that's fucked up of the cops. Yeah, it's counterproductive for a club to leak it, so I could really yeah. picture the cops doing that. You smart as hell for that, yeah. one, bro. Hey, man, you but know, it's almost seeming like is it like some type of smear campaign going on? Like, why are y'all so nah, invested man. into ruining? I mean, he ruined his own image, but yeah. why are y'all so invested into continue it? You I know, know, like what the, we already knew he was in a strip club. We the, all knew what the fuck he was in there doing. Mm -hmm. What did dropping the pictures really do? We, we know what a nigga doing yeah, in the strip club. Exactly. What was you the, you throwing ones, you tapping ass, you some real, ass is sitting on your lap. The real After a loss though, it's crazy. The real smear campaign <laughs> is against Kyrie Irving, if you ask me, because. All he did was tweet an Amazon link uh, about some, you know, uh, videos that has some suggestive stuff about the Jews in it, right? But this nigga had a gun. <laughs> Tyree Irving is mm. not on Nike no more. Nike came out and defended John Morant so much. So we stand with him for his accountability in the situation. So y'all promote niggas with guns, but y'all don't promote a free thinker or... or alternative story that you might not always get every day so i find that to be kind of strange because i thought guns like you and doing shit like that equals you know big big you know consequences why well, are they promoting rappers with guns and rappers who talk about drugs and stuff that's true yeah they had baby tron perform halftime <laughs> at a detroit game so i'm pretty sure they don't care y'all ain't no felon though right like so like uh, you know like for example like with the Kyrie thing i think they asked Kyrie to apologize and Kyrie said no, mm. right? Well, good on him, right? <laughs> but again, though, like us as Black folks are against cancer culture when it affects our own. But we are <clears throat> pro every Karen who gets found. Just I'm, I'm, I'm talking about if that Karen Karen even looks like she may have been, you know, angry because she's going to racist, and they are pro her, 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 her getting canceled, her losing her job, her being homeless. Right, so if we are pro Karens get, you know, like Karens like losing their jobs and getting canceled, then why are we pro, you know, uh, you know, pro the uh, cancellation of other people? Well, you know? That's a huge blanket statement. I, I feel like not everyone, you know, shares those thoughts. Right, what? I feel like people can look at situations and look at it for what it is to be like, oh, okay, you know, this can be out of context, seem like you know one of those situations, but people will look further into it. Not everyone's going to yeah. react off, you know, emotionally right. off it immediately. Right, so, right, look, right, so look, um, and there was the viral, like, the bird feeder, right, you know, thing in, in like, New York. Yeah. Where, like, uh, right, and, and he, like, recorded her, you feel me, you know, like, calling the cops. Mm -hmm. It turns out that he was the aggressor, that he was the one that was wilding out, you feel me? And was he? I I, yeah, I didn't yeah, see that end of the story. The Central Park thing in the Bramble or whatever. Uh, it's yeah, it was like at Central Park. The he bird guy. Yeah, I didn't see that he was in the wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah, he got exposed for it. You but, feel me? Right? Did y'all see that on this? It says he had just signed a deal with Powerade and Coca Cola ten days 
Damn. prior to them clipping it. Bro, so. that, that's what I wanted to bring up is like, do you guys think that like, you know, uh, old storybooks and old like kids books are they always uh, are about like you know classic human mistakes of things that everyone goes through in all all periods of time you know and, like we have to learn from these old mistakes do you think this is like, one of those classic mistakes of like someone getting this huge opportunity and then basically just wiling out you know or like acting a little bit too t childish with it immediately like basically like oh hey i'm i'm a multi hundred millionaire yeah. now let me go to the strip club blow fifty thousand dollars you know what i mean like mm -hmm. more than the average salary yearly salary of like the 99 percent of uh, america you know united states population and then also let me show a gun and do all this stuff it's kind of like bro like he should have you know he didn't really appreciate his black blessings it feels like he was like too ready to be too childish with it this does seem like we're witnessing one of those stories in real mm -hmm. time and with those stories you really don't hear anything good come out of it mm. so that's why i pray like his mental is okay because this is the type of situation that you can have like you said he just signed a deal yeah. and then boom all of this shit is just snatched away from him coca-cola uh removed all the marketing he mm -hmm. don't have his power rate situation no more. It, it, it's no telling how many other situations he don't have, how many he might have lost some friends and relationships and all of that. And I just hope that this don't turn out to be like one of those stories where we like, damn, they took it too far. You know? Right. Like, Not fair. Now, listen, right? Sorry. Um, so, and I do want to apologize like to Ja, right? Because I said something like when, when like it, it first came out, right, that Ja... That Jai like wasn't like that, and Josh like changed up mm. where like he got some money, and then his old homies posted this old clip of Jai. I'm talking about like at, like 17, 16 years old, right? Walking out of a party, throwing up gang signs, and dapping up some blood niggas, and doing a whole low like right. So oh, wait, so he he was a, a blood before. Well, not a oh, blood. Ha hanging with bloods. Well, like. And he was. He was affiliated. What, what yeah. was he throwing up? He was throwing up blood shit. But or? he didn't flock. I don't know. You know and, and, and listen, look, look, <laughs> you see, uh, yeah, see, right? Look, 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 like, dude had on like a red bandana. So, mm. so, I don't know, you feel me, right? So, Jaw was actually like in, in the trenches, you feel me? Like, now his parents had a crib in, in the suburbs, you feel me? But Jaw was still driving to like the, the you know, the, you know, like the hood mm -hmm. a, as a kid, right? And, and like indulging. So, if this is who, He's always been before the fame, you know, then, you know. That's what I didn't get because we was having a conversation about him being uh, in a nice photographed well. Yeah, of course. With a nice outfit on. Yeah. And yeah. to me, that doesn't, it's a bunch of people that's like from hoods or they not from hoods, but they travel to the hood and yeah. they dress nice. Yeah, of course. The so, shit you just said about him hanging with the bloods, mm -hmm. it just confirmed a lot for me because... I figured that, you know, in Memphis, they got the Crips out there and stuff. Mm -hmm. I figured that it was societal pressure. I feel like, I felt like maybe they might have put the squeeze on him yeah. and let him know that he could be much safer out there if he has some new friends. Of course. And now he's hanging out with them, throwing up whatever they throw up. Yeah. Because if you go from this to that, I know you was never official mm -hmm. and nothing, but normally when you start throwing up one, you don't throw up the other. Yeah, man, you feel me? And right. all ghetto niggas don't game bang. Mm. Some niggas just ghetto. Exactly. I feel like there's definitely like a, a chance for him to like 180 this whole situation. It's going to take time, yeah. you know, and this is definitely going to sting his career or like put a little people are going to remember this, right? But uh, I feel like if he comes out with, you know, he already apologized for it, but if he completely just doesn't get caught doing anything like this anymore and just has a really squeaky clean record for the next yeah. five, six months, like I feel like this would all go away and he'll get all that stuff back potentially. Do you, yeah. I, know, I was just going to ask, um, he just got a two game suspension, right? Mm -hmm. they're well, saying, they're saying no. potentially two hundred, right? Fifty games. Fifty. There you go. Well, How no. many games are in a season? Eighty-two. So he it'll carry on. To the Wait, right. I heard the official now. No, 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 right now. Listen, so like I thought it was. Yeah, yeah I thought it was like two, two, and then they extended it to five. No, no, well, here, no, right. So like it's currently in indefinite, like because the NBA is investigating to give him, like, 50 games. You feel me? What? Yeah. But what are they investigating? They know he had the gun. What are they trying to see? If his body's on the gun? Like, what is no. He put it, on the... They want to see if he flew with it, maybe. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. he potentially took it on the plane, on, a like, an NBA trip plane. Yeah. And, and they're not they're not doing security checks on those planes? Uh, well, well you're getting sure. all those private, you know, flights yeah. behind the scenes. It's like, those are way easier just to bring things with you. Yeah. They got a metal detector. At the Grizzly Stadium now, where the players enter, mm -hmm. they never used to check them for anything. They got to take all their shit out like they have to yeah. airport and go through the metal detector. 
You right, right. Like so, like pretty much like the NFLPA and the NBA agreed a while back when like I think Gilbert Arenas like brought a gun and on like you know and on like property that if you bring a gun and on a premises like that's subjected to a fifty game suspension. Damn. So right, mm. right. So and they're saying if Ja had it in the club and that was after the game, then he must have had it at some point on the premises of the NBA. So mm. that's where they're trying to you know you know you know. But bro, like fifty games to me is like it's just too much, bro. You feel me? Like, um, okay. So final thing, right now, what he's just what we know of that he lost is just the Gatorade thing. I mean, Powerade, right? Well, like he didn't like lose the deal. Like they just say like they're like pausing like the commercial being aired. Okay, and yeah. then with the deal that he signed ten days before all of this happened, yeah, he doesn't. They're not allowed to snatch that from him. No, 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 no. So right now they're just taunting with this kid. Yeah, you feel me? Bro, bro, listen. <laughs> listen, like, Ja, ja gonna have a $200 million deal. to rehab. D- 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 bro, d- that's crazy. Rehab for what? Well, this is what, this, this is what, like, Percocet. you know, p- uh, people do Mighty to get... Percocet. <laughs> well, this is what people do to, you know, get out of situations. They'll be like, all right, I'm gonna go to rehab. I'll go to... For being a street an- nigga. Anger management. I'll go do this. I'll go do that. Just so you can, like, be like, all right, I did all the required things that people said I needed to do after I made that mistake. I did all of them. I've completed them. I apologize. You know that thing's behind me now. Rehab for being a street nigga is crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. 